the year 2009. This was the year that we knew we all wanted to appear on Britain's Got Talent. We were all still at school. We thought tonight it would be very fun to share with you some of our favourite memories from our school days. David, one of the games we used to play at school was Scrabble. My teacher said it was a fantastic educational game. I would like you to think of any five, six or seven letter word. Would you please do that for me now? Just one word, yeah? Just one word, yeah. Okay. And using the Scrabble tiles just in front of you, just pop them in the holder to spell out your word. I've got a bit of time to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm not as clever as you might think I am. Amanda, yeah. I've got some flashcards. You can see all of them are completely different. Yep. Amanda, would you be kind enough? Could you please cut them roughly in half for me? Thank you very much. I'm going to give you the top three flashcards that you cut to. There's one, two, and of course three. Mm -hmm. Can you slide any one of them across to Alicia and please do not look at them just yet. Thank you. Finally, Simon. Yo. Me and all my mates used to watch videos of BGT after school. The other day, I actually made a list of my favourite 100 acts. In front of you is a barrel of bingo balls. They are numbered from 1 to 100. Can you please just reach in there and remove out any number for me? I got it. Now, Simon, I'm going to give you one chance. If you want to change your mind and pick a different number, can you please do so now? Nope. Nope. Right. <laughs> um, so, Simon, for the first time, can you, re <laughs> can you read aloud the, the number you've chosen, please? Number seven. Number seven. All right, if I go across here, my notes app, you'll see favourite BGT acts. Yeah. Simon, can you just confirm to me that they are all different? We've yeah. Got Susan Ball, Diversity, Mox Elman. But for the first time, can you read aloud the acts by your number? It's Stavros Flatley. Yeah. One of my favourite acts of all time, Simon. It's a great choice. David, just a moment ago, I asked you to think of any word in the English language. Yes. Could you please, for the first time, say your word out loud? How many letters was it again? It was five. Five. I wrote doors. Doors? Doors. In fact, I wrote just one word on the back of this whiteboard, and wouldn't it be amazing if that word was, in fact, the word doors? For the first time, could you please take a look at the three words that you chose? Now, my psychology teacher actually taught me how to read people, so please just focus in on those words. I'm starting to get a feeling about this. Now, it's really important that you both place your full concentration onto these words and really try to get a very vivid depiction in your mind. I'm going to commit myself to these three right here. If I'm correct, you're now looking at the word soft, star and valley. If these are indeed the three words that you're looking at, please hold them high in the air so that the whole audience can see. <laughs> Simon. Simon, the act you chose was Stavros Flatley. Now what if I told you we predicted this all along? Think back to the year 2009. That was the year all of us wanted to appear on Britain's Got Talent. 2009 was also the year Stavros Flatley appeared on this show. You may think this is a coincidence, so we knew you would need more proof. Our prediction has been staring you in the face the whole time. Look at the three words Amanda randomly selected, soft, star and valley. They are actually a perfect anagram of Stavros Flatley. Let me show you. If we take these letters here, we've got an S, T, A, V, R, O, and an S giving us Stavros, which just leaves us these letters, which is an F, L, A, T, L, E, and finally the one. 